everyone and welcome back to today's video it has been a couple weeks since i've done a video i do apologize for that i have been busy in my life i got into a graduate program starting that pretty soon i've gotten a car so i've been a bit more busy than i typically am so i just wanted to apologize for not making videos but i am back i am starting to get back into it again um and today i'm taking a look at another loading screen because practically everything on 5m costs money now and half of it doesn't work so i was like why don't I take a look at the free stuff? Today, we're taking a look at a loading screen. And if you haven't seen our other loading screen videos, there's a lot of different types of loading screens. This one is a simple one that just has a JPEG image as the background, and you can support an MP3 or an MP4 for music in the background as well, if you want to use that. So to download and install, very easy. Go to the link in the top of the description, subscribe while you're down there, and go ahead and click the GitHub button. That will take you to this page. When you are on this page, there's nothing under releases here. So you're going to click the big green button, click download zip, and then open it up with your favorite unzip or winzip, 7zip, winrar, or whatever you would like to use to unzip this file. And inside of here, you can see that it says simple loading screen dash main. You're going to go inside of here and you can see there are files in here. So as we have the files inside of that folder and there's no separate folder, we're just going to drag this into our resources folder overall close out of that win zip and inside our resources folder we'll look for simple underscore loading screen underscore uh, dash main rename this folder and get rid of the dash main but then copy the name of the folder so simple underscore loading underscore screen and in here you can see there is the fx manifest file and the files that you're actually going to change the html files to edit this you can go ahead and open the index.html and here you can see you can name the server so we'll switch our server name to bghd development Recording server server is loading you can add more here same with the title we'll just change it to bghd development recording server you can obviously customize this to what you want and in here you can see there is the background.jpg and then you have the music.jpg and by default there is a loading song which hopefully is not copyrighted um so obviously that is how that works and if you want to change the loading songs what we can do is we can actually take up one of my non-copyrighted songs and i don't know what any of these are but we can go ahead and copy one in here and we're going to copy the name or we're going to just remember the name it's going to be loading underscore music dot mp3 so if we delete their existing one and then type in our custom name loading underscore music dot mp3 it will now use that non-copyrighted song as the one we're going to use in our game so why don't we go ahead and start our server up after we add it to the server.cfg don't forget about that but we're going to add this into our server.cfg i'm going to do ensure the name of the resource which we already copied which it didn't copy so we're going to go back to the resources find that folder simple underscore loading screen get the name of that folder and type ensure or start that name simple underscore loading screen now we can go ahead and start up our 5m server Take a look in console, check for any errors while it loads up. We see here that it has found it, started resource, so we are good to go. We're going to hop in 5M and check it out. All right, so on the main menu here, we'll go ahead and connect to our local server and then update the game build because, of course, I'm running a different game build than what it needs. So we'll go ahead and restart 5M again. And um, once we have restarted, here we go. We can go ahead and connect to the local server. It will handshake. It will request the server permissions. We'll download and there's our server loading screen with our audio. Pretty cool. And now I just wait.
and there we go and now i am in game so it is that simple to set up that easy to use if you have questions for the author i would make sure to let them know over on the resource page maybe suggest things like a load um volume button or something like that um so you can obviously suggest stuff over on the resource page but overall very cool resource very easy to use hopefully this comes in handy for your 5m server and um, i will see you in the coming weeks for videos if you have good free resources or even paid ones that are good and the author may be willing to work with me so i can do a quick video on them let me know about them down in the comments below and i will look into doing it so thank you so much for watching everyone and i'll see you in the next one